Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my little corner of the internet and welcome to our nursery renovation. Nick and I have just taken the last of the furniture out of this room which used to be my office. So I think I've done an office tour so I'll leave a little card to that up above if you want to go and check out what the space used to look like about three years ago when we moved in and it was my home office. Um, but yeah, we've also just taken down the blinds and the curtains which is probably why it's super echoey. But yeah, I'm excited to get started and to turn this into our future baby's room. Today is Tuesday the 7th of April and while I have been busy working from home, Nick has been busy working on the nursery. The reason that he's been taking down the walls is because when we have been doing other rooms in this house where we've needed to take down the gym for various different reasons we have noticed that the pink bats which is the insulation in the walls hasn't always been done very well case in point if you can see here like there's gaps and this is an external wall and then up there there's like bits where it's missing and then on the top of this window there's just absolutely no um pink bats whatsoever this wall is fine because this is an internal walls so there's not normally pink bats in an internal wall because we obviously want this room to be nice and warm for our baby uh, and it's also just a bit easier in terms of plastering if you're just having to plaster the joins of new gym as opposed to like the whole entire wall um, we decided that we would take the walls off and replace some of the pink bats so it is as cozy as it can be. The reason that we have left the gym up on this wall is because this is the wall that the nursery shares with the bathroom and Kind of like about here in the middle of the wall is the recess shelf that we made in our shower and we didn't want to risk taking the jib off and putting new jib up with like banging in the nails just in case it cracked any of the tiles and made anything in the bathroom not waterproof so instead we're just going to chuck new jib straight on top of this stuff because there's a bunch of dents in the wall from the recess shelf that we don't think we're going to be able to like get out with plaster so instead we're just gonna double the jib up on this wall. Later on that day I also took inspiration from Hayley Divine and I wrote a little baby a message on the walls before we covered up with the new jib. Whilst I have been doing my day job and working from home Nick has been working very hard getting the new jib board up on the walls in the nursery and getting the plastering done. Today for me is April the 16th. Yesterday Nick put the primer on all of the walls and the ceiling in the nursery and I think today he's actually gonna start painting it. So to make these updates actually interesting and not just clips and a voiceover from me, I'm going to hand the vlog over to Nick today so he can explain what he's doing and film some clips uh, as he's working. Hi well, guys, um, Sammy has left me in charge because she's got the work and I'm doing the nursery painting. So done a primer coat yesterday and today I'm going to do two coats of ceiling paint and then once I've done that I'll be doing the walls in our alabaster white so let's go if any of you watching this video are looking for any more renovation tips and tricks uh, go and follow my husband Nick on his building Instagram account build more I'll leave a link to it down below as well if you want to go and check it out so I did one coat of the top coat this morning Lorazine, Lusheen, and I'm just about to do the second coat. Everything's all painted, so now it's time to put up the window architraves. Yesterday I helped Nick paint the architraves around the door frame and the window and then also the skirting boards around uh, the bottom of the room. And now that's all dry comes the exciting bit where we can take all the masking tape off, take the plastic off the floor, put the curtain back up, put the blind back up and actually start building our baby furniture. It is Monday the 20th of April and as you can see we've just started bringing furniture back into the room which is very exciting. I'm currently on my lunch break so after I finish work today I am very excited to start like putting together the crib and putting everything uh, like into the room. It's feeling so much more real now. This is going to be your baby brother or baby sister's room. Cool way. I do plan on eventually filming a proper nursery tour where we can explain where like we got all of the little bits and pieces from but I'm still waiting on a few deliveries for things and then I need to wait until I can get to a store to print out some prints that we have for some of the frames up on this wall um, until that will be done. So hold fire, I don't know when that will be coming but it will be coming hopefully sometime in the next month or so. That is going to be it for this office to nursery renovation. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I hope you are looking forward to seeing the nursery tour when eventually that will be coming. I hope you're staying healthy and staying safe in your bubbles and I'll see you all next time. Bye!